The Chairman House Committee on Information and member representing Akukwedu Constituency 1, Kabiru Ajutu, analyzed the role of the police since the crisis began on the 9th of June, indicting the Inspector General of Police, AIG Zone 5, and the State Commissioner of Police for abandoning their constitutional responsibility to allegedly render assistance to the PDP lawmakers. He alleged that the police also assisted the PDP lawmakers to gain access into the chambers and create tension by the Deploying battle ready policemen to deprive the people of Edo State of free vehicular and human movement. The worst thing, Mr. Speaker, as we are discussing this, a word that came under the supervision of Nigerian police cut down the, 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 the smaller uh, uh, House of Assembly gates and allowed the APDP legislators and one, uh, the former Deputy Speaker to enter into the premises. And as soon as they enter, I attempted to go in to see what they wanted to do. The police prevented me. The issue elicited comments from other lawmakers as they were unanimous in their decision that the police be cautioned. The lawmakers advised President Kulok Jonathan not to look the other way while the crisis in Edo State escalates. Speaker Uyibe advised that copies of the adopted motion be forwarded to relevant organs of government. Every Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, our people suffer on tow hardship. They trek distance to their various areas because the Nigerian police have refused to do their work. We are hereby calling on the people of the two states to know that this is an attempt to take this state back to the state of Holocaust. And we will not allow this to happen. We are joining everybody to beg our persons in this society to take good luck Jonathan. And we want to pray that he hack into the voice of reason at this moment. Consequent upon this, clean copies of this resolution should be sent to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the Inspector General of the Police, to the Commissioner of Police Edo State, to the AIG Zone 5 in Edo State, to the ECOWAS and United Nations Security Council offices in Abuja, and lastly, to His Excellency, the Comrade Governor of Edo State, Comrade Adam Salio Shomali, for immediate and prompt action. The State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Fulushua Debanjo, had in a previous interview maintained neutrality of the police and absolved his men of aiding the PDP legislators. The police remains a political in this crisis. The House thereafter dissolved into the Committee of the Whole to consider the reports of the House Committee on Health on the petition by health workers over promotion of 167 chief nursing officers in Edo State. The lawmakers adjourned to Tuesday, the 8th of July, at 10 a.m. Christy McCauley reporting.